Hi everyone, this video will show you how you can use price to spy to gather more product data needed for a more detailed market analysis. As you know, price to spy captures the price and availability of products for all of our clients by default. However, depending on the industry you're dealing with, you might need some extra information in order to conduct a more detailed research. What sort of data is considered additional? On single product pages across all kinds of websites, there is some potentially relevant information other than the price and availability. price to spy can capture virtually any information in an additional field as long as it's displayed on the product page. Some of the most commonly used additional fields are shipping costs, shipping time, shipping details, stock status, seller name, and custom data, such as seller or product rating, pack sizes, prices shown in cart, shelf price, or price before discount. You may have noticed that marketplace websites often display prices from multiple sellers on the same product page. If you'd like to keep track of all available sellers, price to spy can capture this information in additional field. The best way to approach this type of situations is to capture the seller names in one and their corresponding prices in another field. The data would be split using a pipe as a delimiter so you can have a better overview of all pricing information. What to do with the additional fields? Once the additional fields are all set up in your account, you will be able to see more details when entering a single product. Here you can see that we're capturing the bulk price in the regular price column. We're capturing price without shipping in one additional column and the corresponding shipping costs in another one. You can also see these additional fields in your price matrix report that by default shows you only the prices. If you choose to run the price matrix report, you have the option to see other fields as well. Just select what you wish to be displayed in the price matrix and click on show report in browser. You will notice that all data captured in additional field is now displayed in a corresponding column. If we're capturing the seller names and prices separated with a pipe as shown previously, there is a report that will allow you to see the pricing information with all sellers shown in separate rows. The competitor product list shows you each product and each seller pricing in a row of its own. Here you can see that for this particular product, we have six sellers. They are all displayed separately so you can see individual prices and shipping costs for each one of them. We can create custom reports using these additional fields that would be adapted to your own needs. Of course, this is something that needs to be done upon request, but here you can see an example of a customized report based on the data captured in additional fields. I hope you found this video useful. In case you have any questions regarding capturing data in additional fields, please feel free to contact us at support at price2spy.com.